these subjects are probably going to piss off some people. A little disclaimer. The way I parent, I'm learning. I'm a first time mom. FTM. Co-sleeping. I have friends that co-sleep. There's pros, there's cons. I don't co-sleep with our baby. I have a giant husband and he would crush him. Even with that little barrier thing that they have. I just, it's, it's right. Jacob slept in our room till about four months when he was trying to flip over in his bassinet. And my doctor was like, he's got to sleep in his own crib. We never even experimented with co-sleeping. My opinions are totally my opinions. Like my mother-in-law pointed out yesterday. No, the way you parent is the way you parent. I don't know if that was passive aggressive, but I think I took it that way. So I don't co-sleep. Um, if my son at one point gets scared, comes to my bed and says, can I sleep with you, mommy? I'm gonna say, of course you can, because he's scared. So if he's coming in to my bed because he's scared, I'm gonna let him cuddle with me. I read this article and it said, well, uh, co-sleeping and breastfeeding help prevent SIDS. See, it's statements like that that make me wanna make a video about this. Nobody knows what prevents SIDS. In fact, when you're a new mom, SIDS is the scariest, scariest thing ever. You're just trying to get through the first year of just like, oh my God. I can't imagine how people get through it. I can't even, it, the thought is terrifying. And I've talked to other moms and like, it's totally normal to be terrified of it. It's terrifying. So when I saw an article that said, well, co-sleeping helps prevent it. And then I've seen articles that say, no, it doesn't help prevent it. It's just we're trying to figure everything out. We're inundated with articles. We have a lot of information. They also said, it does affect your sex life. There's a duh. You can do it. The baby won't remember. <laughs> what? Who's out there like, scoot him over while he's sleeping. Let's just do a quickie. Are you kidding? No. I used to get aggravated when my cat would walk on me when I was doing something. What? I got a six foot seven, 340 pound husband and me in a cow king. We stick another human in there. It's, I mean, come on. So to my friends that go sleep, awesome. Cause it works for you. To my friends that don't go sleep, I'm right there with you. I didn't go to sleep with my parents. And they were like, nah. You might say, hey, bro, I don't agree with this video, whatever. Let me know. I'm interested in your opinions on how uh, sleeping goes because right now we're in that phase where he's waking up at 5 a.m. We put him in bed later because the doctor's like, gotta go to bed later, but he's waking up between 4 and 5. Uh, and I still give him a bottle before bed because I'm trying to get that boy to sleep. So if you have any tips on it, or if you're like, hey, I uh, co-sleep and we're okay too. Okay, cool. Let's go. Look, we're all just trying to, we're just trying to, you know, get through the day, right? Because parenting's hard.